uh, hi everyone and uh, thank you for uh, uh, watching this particular webinar which is focused on adding cmt uh, as a value to your practice in technical analysis and how cmt is going to add value to your uh, particular um, career in practicing the technical analysis today we have a forum shreda she is independent technical analyst and uh, we are going to ask her a few questions about how cmt has shaped her career and uh, shaped her learnings while she is practicing technical analysis uh, with me is forum shreda hi forum thank you for your time and thank you for joining us well thank you very much for having me here i think it's a good platform uh, for uh, people who uh, are yet uh, trying to find their way uh, make things much more clear for them right uh, so uh, forum uh, i want you to introduce uh, yourself a bit of a, a bit about your background uh, how you uh, you know your education and then how you uh, got to know about technical analysis as a tool and uh, your experience uh, uh, in the recent past okay so it's going to be a bit long story here um because um, we're starting with my education that uh, i am a graduate a bcom and just uh, after my graduation immediately i joined a branding company and uh, like one of the big clients was be uh, bharat petroleum so it was uh, a very good platform where i was learning branding a bit of advertising so it was a totally different uh, sector for me to start my work with i learned to uh, my hands on designing be it on management accounting everything as much possible as i can because i did not know what exactly i wanted to take forward Right. and it was a friends company so i got a good platform to learn and experience and all and like a hands on training on everything right. and just there my friend was uh, reading a lot of um, he was working reading on technical analysis he was trading the markets and i was wondering what all these charts look like like what are you doing is this black right. and white things on the chart right. how do you analyze right. and i just picked up a book one day and just started reading and i went on reading reading and i was like oh wow this is interesting and maybe like that i almost read four to five books uh, including uh, martin pring alexander eldo jesse livermore right and i was like okay this has to be somewhere a professional course has to be there i searched a lot but i couldn't really find that how do then maybe cfa had a little bit of technical analysis i said okay let me try but cfa has too much of fundamentals and that was not i was interested in right and finally i found uh, cmt which was actually known formally known as market technicians association yes. mta yes so that's how i signed up and i saw they have like three levels of exams and it's a professional uh, completely dedicated to technical analysis i right. this is what i can look forward for i went through their um, little bit of descriptions for each levels how they um, they conduct the exams and what kind of subjects they cover topics hmm. and i was like okay i am going for it or oh, i quit my job i started the uh, learning reading studying everything and after almost 2 years it's difficult to get back to books but it was technicals and it was an interesting thing that you love for and it just became a very good thing i shift my job also i got an internship with an advisory just as an intern to see how it is on the floor how are the right. uh, brokers or how everyone is trading and punching orders and that's how i cleared my level 1 level 2 finally i uh, got a job with the a stock access company as right. a relationship manager hmm. that was my first step actually professionally to be considered that okay i may uh, see what i am looking at ultimately i want to get into research that was my goal right. but you don't get it everybody was going to ask you okay what kind of experience you hold <laughs> and uh, hardly with any experience nobody is going to just give you a, like a job for technical analyst and yes level 3 uh, was difficult but lot of hard work when it came to cmt also it's not like 
an easy cakewalk. Right. But um, yeah, like get up early in the morning towards the studies. Then you go to your, uh, go for your job, come back and it take a break happen. again, study. Yes. yes. Oh, I have done it. And when I think about those days back again, I'm not that old, but yet comparatively, <laughs> Um, yes, a hard work do, does go in a lot. It's not so, as easy as that. I think, uh, uh, you know, a lot of people uh, might not know that MTA was something, I think, uh, more than seven, eight years back. Now it is Correct. known as CMT. CMT. So exactly. You have been practicing for almost like, uh, I mean, almost a decade now, I believe. Uh, yeah, at least after two years, it will be a decade. Uh, uh -huh, I right. just enrolled in 2013. By 2016, I had cleared my level three. And since I had always started with my work and I received my charter. So I think uh, at one point, I was only women in that association, an active right. member. Right. And... That is true. I do believe that because back in 2016, <laughs> 17. So if someone would have looked up for CMT, your name would have been there. Right. Yeah. Only in terms of women when I'm talking about. Yes, yes. So that's how I received my charter. And after being a relationship manager, I think the company saw my progress, how I was uh, speaking to the clients, attending to their queries, their portfolios. And uh, they promoted to me being a technical analyst. And then the journey began that I was with Kia Chopsu for nearly two and a half to three years. And uh, finally, just a few months back, I decided to go independent and start by myself. So here I am, SEBI registered. Right. Uh, that's great. Congratulations. Thank you. Right. Okay. So Forum, uh, how did you got, uh, you know, how do you got to know about uh, CMT or the MTA and uh, specifically uh, uh, how did you find, you know, that uh, this is one uh, particular uh, charter or designation that mm. is going to give you that value when it is about uh, like a tool uh, such as technical analysis? Uh, so it wasn't uh, actually, uh, I was not even aware. I did not know anybody who had done this course. It was purely on browsing uh, basis that I came across MTA's association and then doing some more deep research into it. What is it all about? And um, I honestly didn't even think of speaking to somebody because my background was completely different. Right. So I had no clue on this, but when I looked at the topics level one, that yes, there is a professional course for it and you receive a charter. So at that time, at least CFA was well known. And mm -hmm. I saw that CMT right. also had a very identical format. Mm -hmm. And I said that, I don't know how come I have not come across people who have done their CMT, right. formerly known as MT at that point of time. So I said, let me just jump in. I'll see what happens. It is not that uh, what it gives me later on, but at least I will definitely learn something for myself. Because at that point of time, I don't know how many people were actually uh, practicing. Yeah, you will get it, which are, uh, who have learned it through experience, right, right. but not a formal training has happened. Absolutely. So that's how I jumped in. I did it. It was all by myself. There was absolutely no buddy at that point of time that i could that really takes a lot of to. motivation i believe yes and i had to give it all my um, effort be right. it learning studying yeah. everything and that time i was kind of doing a little bit of my training on my own so i had my hands on practical studying as well what am i doing okay. so yes many errors a lot of mistakes and honestly all that experience now counts today all right uh, so uh forum uh Two differences I would want to know. So you were back in like, uh, you know, uh, stock access, as you mentioned, and uh, you were a relationship manager there. So you have started it from the scratch, right? Uh, yes. You were dealing directly with clients and, you know, hearing their, hearing their uh, queries about stocks and markets and everything. And then you uh, pursued CMT during level one, level two. Uh, and then finally in level three. So this particular difference, uh, if you want to put in, uh, you know, a few sentences that what was the particular difference that you uh, felt that actually transformed your thought process about market, your thought process about reading the prices and then uh, market kidhar lag raha hai, kidhar jayega se, uh, those subtle and, you know, short answers. Uh, this particular change I want to know about. Uh, so this big transition, um, really what I can think of must have happened 
maybe during my level one itself what i can think of uh, because when you read be it um, somebody a very random book or any famous author and at that time i had already by that before i started my cmp i had already read books of martin fring a lot of other authors right. and then when i knew that okay i had it in my syllabus also of cmt yes. um you know when you read them the quality the knowledge that they put in the words is very motivating the first thing secondly when they say your price is god <laughs> and uh, when i used to say ha ye to bhi वो चला जाएगा मोमेंटम आ जाएगा ये हो जाएगा एंड दैट एंटायर थॉट एंड आफ्टर रीडिंग गेटिंग इन द प्रोफेशनल कोर्स एंड नाउ इन दैट ट्रांजिशन द क्वालिटी मैटर्स दैट चेंजेस क्वाइट अ लॉट सो व्हेन इट कम्स टू स्पीकिंग व्हेन इट कम्स टू इवन एनालिसिस इट ब्रॉडन्स योर माइंड सेट दैट ओके यू नो यू डोंट हैव टू लुक एट अ वेरी टिक डेटा और एनीथिंग यू कैन इवन लुक एट अ 10 ईयर होराइजन it's uh, like sky is the limit yes so yes. any time horizon you can analyze through technical analysis and it's not that you would be talking to ye yes. bhav idhar gaya udhar gaya the quality changes that way when you read right, right. that is I, i do believe is one of the key uh, transformation i i wanted to know about yes that's a very big difference right right and uh, i believe uh, what uh, uh, this would have done is uh, uh, getting your answers from long sentences to very short and crisp few words that would have a, a higher you know weightage correct right. i completely agree that that quality can only happen when you read study yes that yes. will explore your mind Okay, uh, one more question for them. Uh, I mean, uh, no, two more questions. Okay, <laughs> okay. Uh, what makes uh, CMT more special for you? I mean, uh, in your entire career, obviously you have taken up CMT even after a lot of years. You have done the graduation, then you were working, and mm-hmm. then taking a decision while you were working on a regular job, nine to five, nine to seven. Uh, what uh, you know made you? Uh, you know take that particular decision is all right but how it is special for you i mean the particular cmt designation i believe you have been carrying this designation for last yes. four five years now correct right. yes um so when firstly i got a job or as a relationship manager also and i said that i had cleared my level 2 and i was appearing for level 3 mm-hmm. uh that time the uh, person who took my interview was my manager Mm-hmm. he was quite uh, starky to know that somebody is doing cmt they they did not have anybody to, so far as a relationship manager right um uh, so that kind of at that point of time to see that expression hit me that okay it is valued that right? some of them know in the professional field that okay what is cmt all about and when i uh, cleared it one attending seminars uh meeting international uh, technical analysts during the seminars uh interacting with them uh kind of helped me uh to groom my personality in terms of being a technical analyst and as a cmt uh when i received my charter and when i put that batch and that cmt after my name holds a lot of weightage Right. now if i have to see my linkedin profile or um, uh, probably if i have to just go and um, even in my company in kr choksi when i was there it's a total different perception that they hold maybe you would have, just as forum chera i would have been okay a normal technical analyst must be doing well decently okay. fair enough but having that cmt uh, just kind of elevates your personality right it creates that value for your own self it's more like a brand building right right and that has helped me at every stage and even right now like just being call as a cmt my mailer signatures goes with a charter holder batch uh speaking to a lot of these universities b schools they would kind of understand that the cmt holds a value on a educational level as well as when it comes to the experience level also right and now a lot of companies are recognizing and uh, would prefer that if there are cmt charter holders yes okay last one 
there are like you know aspirants and students who uh, when it comes to technical analysis uh, cmt being the gold standard uh, as a designation and a charter uh, i want you to uh, in few sentences like uh, what is your advice to them people newbies or even uh, i've seen like uh, people having experience of like seven eight years are uh, coming to take uh, this particular course so your advice for especially uh, young and uh, newbies who are looking to practice technical analysis or apply it uh, to probably in their role as an analyst or as a trader or even uh, you know uh, experienced professionals uh, who are practicing ta and uh, looking up to take uh, cmt um firstly i would say i am a student myself i am a learner right. every day be it from anybody i would definitely kind of learn something yes so even from a student i would be learning and even from a very senior person i will be yet learning there is something that you will learn yes so there is learning every day every hour every minute right two is when it comes to technical analysis um in india it holds a bit of a different perception for co common crowd it would be as a trader you know it's not kind of valued as much as we yes. think but it is not that that perception has been changing and uh, luckily cmt association has um, done that very well yes and it's a very important role and it doesn't it's not very easy ki uh, technical analyst ho gaya to ho gaya it is not that easy a lot of hard work goes in a lot of effort goes in a lot of uh, mistakes may happen a lot of losses may happen and then that everything all that once you combine all these combinations that's that's when you will step up to saying that yes i can do from here onwards better that doesn't mean that i am perfect but yes definitely i will be doing for going forward i can do well i can right. handle certain things but right. before that you have to understand you have to experience what losses are as well that doesn't mean you create losses for the company but definitely you can do a paper trading or you can take paper investments also and if you have a personal investments no harm that's the best thing yes. you're making money for yourself yes so it's not easy hard work does go in and uh, doing cmt is definitely going to hold a lot of weight and add on to your career all right well thank you so much for uh, you're welcome for